Thomas Gonnett exploited over 35,000 people who have subscribed to his channel. First, we must understand how Thomas Gonnett manipulated his audience. Once you go to his channel, you will see that he has a relatively low amount of videos. His channel has blown up by hitting the algorithm. Thomas Gonnett is gaining many views from something other than his educational videos. It all stemmed from his first video, where he exposed Iman Gadzi. This video called out Iman for having a course that Thomas thought was a scam. Thomas is on record telling his audience that it is a scam if anyone is trying to sell you a system or mentorship. So this is where the term gaslighting appears. In this world of SMMA, or at least I live in, there's a lot of wacky, funny characters. It starts to weigh on you that his course is really just an extension of his YouTube videos. And sure, it guides you into using the supposed right tools to start your agency, such as ClickFunnels, Lemlist, G7 Lead Finder, which very coincidentally all happen to offer some sort of hefty recurring monthly affiliate commission. Recurring monthly affiliate commissions. Gaslight marketing is where you discredit the other brands in your industry to make yourself look superior. Now Thomas may not be a guru when it comes to growing an agency, and we can say this because he has not paid his taxes nor has a legal business entity. Still, the lad is talented in undermining the other people in the marketing space. Thomas will do whatever it takes to steal your money. Even if it means destroying the reputation of others to make himself look superior. Now, anyone older than 20 can realize what Thomas is doing. The saddest part is that his audience is 35,000 18 year old kids. So after 5 to 10 videos of Thomas exposing gurus in the marketing space, he sees the opportunity, and greed overtakes his body. He thought it would be a great idea to create a course himself. Whoa 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 Thomas. Do you mean you're going to do what you came on YouTube telling people not to do? Whether it's Iman, whether it's any other SMMA course that you'll find on YouTube from a course which is the worst thing you can do. But at the end of the day, those are just gimmicks from a course which is the worst thing you can do. But at the end of the day, those are just gimmicks. The fact that you have zero competence in real life. Will you do the exact opposite of the character you are playing and think nobody would notice? So the real way Thomas started to make over $500,000 per year is from his affiliates. And so in this server, my goal isn't to sell you anything. Um, it isn't to get you to use my affiliate link. The only way to get into this Discord is by using my affiliate link for the 497 plan of high level. If you want to join the server, all you have to do is go to 300agencies.com, follow the steps, which is you use my 30-day free trial for the um, 497 plan. Wait Thomas, I'm confused now. How do we get in? It isn't to get you to use my affiliate link. So don't use your affiliate link? If you want to join the server, all you have to do is go to 300agencies.com, follow the steps, which is you use my 30-day free trial for the um, 497 plan. That makes sense, Thomas. Thanks for clearing that up. It guides you into using the supposed right tools to start your agency, such as ClickFunnels, Lemlist, G7 Lead Finder, which very coincidentally all happen to offer some sort of hefty recurring monthly affiliate commissions. An affiliate is someone who makes a commission from selling a service or product that they do not exclusively own. So Thomas saw that people made 40% recurring from a software called Go High Level. Thomas is on record saying he did not want to sell you anything. This was just another way to gaslight his audience that marketers use to exploit people. He then says the only way to get into this course is by using the most expensive Go High Level subscription which is $497 per month. You got that right. $497 per month. Now Thomas receives $200 monthly from his 40%. So his greedy idea was to create a course called 300 Agencies where he only allows 300 agencies to join. This creates fake scarcity. But Thomas, the greedy lad, created a course behind an affiliate paywall. A paywall that will pay Thomas for months, even years, to come. To conclude, Thomas manipulated his entire audience into thinking he owned a successful agency but had not paid a dime of taxes. He does not hold a legal business entity. His affiliates make 99% of his income slash he told everyone that courses and mentorships were a scam. Once he saw how much money he could earn, greed took over and he did what he warned people. Only after he ruined the reputation of multiple people in his space doing the same thing Thomas is doing, but only for a one-time fee, not an affiliate. Thomas said he made them dead. Now it's a time to ensure Thomas does not scam people. The saddest part is that Thomas would have exposed himself if he was truly for the people.
What do you expect from someone who purchased a fake AP watch?